Good morning, how are you today? I hope you are wonderful, whatever you are doing. We are just about to go out, we're still at home, as you can see, or not at home, at our house sit in Bournemouth. We're just about to go out for the day. We are going to Stonehenge. It's about an hour's drive away from here. And we didn't realise we are members of the National Trust and we get free access to it. It's about £15 each or something, I think, to go. And I was just on the website before and we were free to go. So we're like, oh, let's go to Stonehenge. So I'm just waiting for everyone to kind of come down and everything. I've got lunch packed up. I've been doing some work this morning, all busy, busy, on the uh, gaming channel stuff. I'm about to leave. Stephen? Oh, where are you? Oh, you're in here. <laughs> I was like, oh, where's Stephen? You're just here. Are you okay? We're just waiting for Lara. We have arrived finally at Stonehenge. It was not a bad drive. I did get a little bit lost on the way. It's absolutely boiling, right? Are you boiling hot? Yeah. Very hot. I was just walking there, I was like, wow, my back's boiling. I should have gone to the beach today. Back. back hurts. Stephen burnt his back a little bit. If you watched yesterday, he fell asleep on the beach and his back probably hasn't seen a lot of sun. He's always got a t shirt on. And also, by the way, let me just say, he's worn this every day. It has been washed a couple of times. <laughs> it's just his t shirt that he loves at the moment. So he's wearing it every day. We've, um, we've pre booked online. So I'm sure we can just kind of go straight in or I don't know. Oh yeah, look, members and pre-booked tickets. Everyone's a member and pre-booked. The line for the pre-booked is bigger than... <laughs> We'd better get tickets here. We got our tickets. Right, so I think what we do, our timing to go in is 12 o'clock. It's now like 5 to 12, so... There's a museum and stuff here. I think we're going to grab a bus. Oh, you can walk over to it. Look, yeah, I think people are walking. Away. Yeah, but we need to get steps in. Should we get a bus there and walk back? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go and get the bus over. You'd rather walk there? Why? Look, I didn't realise that there was loads of different places around. So we are here, Stonehenge is number five there. And there's all these different places that we can go to as well. Woodhenge, Durrington Walls, Stonehenge Avenue. Let's go and get on our bus, yeah? Do you want an audio guide? Does he want one? These are the little buses that take you over. Up some steps, Lara, to the back. Yeah, very back. Ah. Uh -huh. Wait. 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 Packed up this bus. Right, we've arrived. That was only a couple of minutes on the bus. I think we're definitely walking back. Look at this queue to get the bus back. A very long. I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. I spy it. How do you play this? Um, I don't know. You press play. Let's have a look. Wait. Oh, there's some interesting little bits of information before we head over. <coughs> Large pit. So it is like underground. Here it is. We're getting closer. I'm just discussing how I think it's a bit crazy really, that it's like, it's just a bunch of stones. And why are all these people flocking to see a bunch of stones? And we don't even know why they're there or what they're there for. I don't know.
kind of, kind of before we came, we thought it was not going to be like disappointed, but one of those things that you kind of like you just to go and see it. You just see it, but it's I don't know. It's quite underwhelming. It's just. There you go. Britain's Britain. It's just that there's. We haven't been to the museum. The expectations are too high. Yeah. yeah. Stones. Stones. Yeah. Old stones. Yeah. It's just old stones. It's quite impressive. Though. Yeah. They I don't think I know enough about it yet to give my full opinion on whether I just think that's garbage or <laughs> whatever. But I don't know whether we're going to see what the queues are. Like. We're going to walk back if it's nice. I don't think it's quite a nice walk. I think it's a nice walk. Should we walk back? Look, look, it's through some um, tree trees and look, I can see some shade over there. It's so, so, so warm. Let's walk. They, they tried to preserve it as old pasture land. Oh, did they? That's nice. That's the national they, um, oh, yeah. There is, um, there is other things around here, honestly, but I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to head back, I think, and go to the museum. The queue now is non-existent. Clearly, sort of like 12 o'clock, half 12 is the time when it's absolutely chocker. Like to go back. Yeah. I'm gonna listen to Lara, I've got a free audio tour. So I'm gonna listen to this and see if I think it's interesting. <laughs> Those two are just ahead of me. Talk about what? What days out you like? Oh, yeah, okay, that sounds good. We've made our way over to the mouth. <laughs> Euros they are day temporarily day. closed. I think they should always be closed. Do you? Yeah. To preserve. You're probably right. For 6,000 years old. I wonder if those ones are closed over there. Look at the heat. Can you see the heat wave? Like ah, the... can start We're back at the visitor's centre. I would love it. We are... Like, it. Not <laughs> We're going to, I think. Are we going to grab our picnic? We're going to grab our picnic before going to the museum, I think. We ate our picnic in the shade, that was nice. We're going to have a little look at these, I don't know what these are, houses, something or other. You can go in them. Oh, we're going to have a look at, a look at them and then we'll go in the museum. Yeah. I think that, I don't know, this is how they carried this, I don't know. How did they carry Oh, on wooden trucks. No, isn't that on, like, here, look, feel. Like, so that that's the stone. Yeah. All tied up. Yeah. And then it, it, like with, at the bottom, like circles. Cylinders. Cylinder thing. You know, because it's pretty impressive if that is how they carried it, like rolled it along on here. And then I like, took the box back one, I'm assuming, like over to the front and then continued rolling. And they did it for oh, about 100, 160 Lara. Yeah, 106. Well, from, Wales. from Wales. They did it miles or kilometres. Mm. Oh, we don't know if it's miles yeah. or kilometres. But it's from Wales. It's still a bloody long so way to go, right? Way. So what? Cobbler Here's some info. Can you move the stone? This is an exact replica of Stone 60, one of the upright sarsens in the inner horseshoe. The original stone weighs 28 tonnes. Look, can you move it? The stone was... Look. Yeah. Ah. Oh. It would have taken about 100 strong people to move this stone. Can you pull it? No. I don't really understand how it works. I don't really understand how it works. Oh, I understand what it means. So, if you pull it a certain amount, then you need 99 more people. Oh, right, okay. If you pull it more, you need 95 more people, 90 people, 85 Is it, people. Does it say a number? Look, here's what it says. So there's two different stones, sarsen and blue stone. Sarsen was brought from 20 miles away, and the blue stone was from West Wales. Is that a map of Stonehenge? Oh, yeah, it says what the different stones. Measuring them. Where? Homes for the builders. Oh, is this the type of houses that they used to live in? Yeah. Homes for the builders of Stonehenge. The people who built and used Stonehenge probably lived in houses like these. They are recreations based on the archaeological remains of buildings excavated at Durrington Walls, just over a mile from Stonehenge. Is that a hut? No. That's sort of like. Yeah, that's the roof, and then further back you can feel the wall. Stone wall. Stone wall. Yeah. Let's go in. Right, you have to duck down a little bit. 
Oh, my bag got caught. See why I was ha sorry. See why I was having difficulties in the castle. Yeah. Oh, it's quite nice inside. You can um. Should I get? Should you want to get the audio, audio tour? No. Twix. See if it's comfortable. Are you lying on it? Me. That's your pillow. What is that? Is that what? Is that um wood? Is that nice and comfy? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I don't think I'd like it all night. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're heading into the museum here. It's quite good. They've given us this thing where for Lara, where they can um where they can uh, she can feel some things and stuff. Ooh. Oh, it's just like as if you're standing in the middle of it, yeah. Yeah, like a circular room. Because if it went all the way around, you could just like move. Yeah. Yeah. This is, look, this is the, I think it's them like what they think of, like how they yeah. built it. It's all about what they think it's still on, like through the ages. Yeah. 360 degrees around the building. Yeah. This is good. You can, um, yeah, it normally says please don't. It says please touch the models. But this is quite good. It's got um, showing how it was built up. The lava can obviously feel it. A sacred enclosure. First major construction 5,000 years ago was a large circular enclosure. Inside was a ring of 56 pits, which probably held upright pillars. Yeah. About that on there. We are all done, we're heading to the car. I changed my mind to be honest a little bit. I was a bit like mm, Stonehenge, but actually, I think it was worth going to. I think for the price, if you pay to get in, because oh, we got obviously free with the membership. If you pay to get in, I think it's a bit expensive um, for what it is. I don't know, but it's quite interesting to be honest. I quite enjoyed it. Think what? buy a national trust membership yeah yeah you're right actually yeah that i would probably agree if you're going to come to stonehenge buy a national trust membership um but it was good we're gonna what you just want to tell them to look at cobwebs hang on cobwebs on there oh can you see all those cobwebs i don't think they can even see no window no they wasn't in the window um no that was quite that was quite good in the end, I quite enjoyed it. The museum was quite turn interesting. Turn the engine on, yes. Well, I need the keys in the car to turn the engine on. Um, no, it, I wouldn't say it's the most disappointing tourist attraction I've ever been to, to be honest. Oh my gosh. Um, it was, I think I would have done, been better with going into the museum first, how it worked for us with timing. We had to go to the Stonehenge first and then come back to the museum. I would have been better doing the museum first, I think, so I had a bit of knowledge before I, um, before I went over. And also, I didn't listen to the audio guide and I probably should have done, which would have given me some more information. I need some more. You need some, okay. Well, do you want your drink, Lara? Um, yeah. Or should I just put the bag back? I'll just fill the bag back there. You can... Right, drive home. It's about an hour home we may stop off Stephen's gonna try and have a little sleep i think if we find a nice little village on the way home we may stop off for like an ice cream or something if we don't we're gonna go straight home i've lost my phone that's a problem i actually have i actually have Oh no, I've, I've no, it's up here. Oh my god. I put it on top of the um, <laughs> just as you start to do something, it's always the way. I put it on the um steering wheel. back home 
and we're gonna try i think we said the other night there's this like dunking pool in the garden at our house it and i said the other night we were gonna try it but we never did i think i may try it today um i don't know how nice it is to be honest but i put they said if you're gonna use it put a chlorine tablet in I put a chlorine tablet in hmm let me see it doesn't look that appealing to be honest let's see how warm well the water's quite warm actually hang on maybe it is let me take this cover off and we'll see Okay, covers off. I'm gonna try it, see what it's like. Let's see. They said it's quite slippy getting in, so let's be careful. Oh, oh, oh! It's quite nice, actually. Just hopefully the dogs stay out of it. <laughs> Don't jump in with us. Oh, hello. I'm gonna go and see if Stephen wants to come in. Maybe he will. Don't think he will, but I'll ask him. Oh. Ooh, nearly fell backwards into it. Stephen! Oh, my final thoughts on Stonehenge was actually, I was moaning a bit too much at the beginning. It's actually a good place to go. It is just quite expensive, like I said, for £15 or something each. I think that's quite expensive. But with our National Trust membership, best birthday present I ever got was this National Trust. Maybe not the best one ever, but it was a good present. Stephen, do you want to come in the pool? What? You're gonna come and try the pool? No? This is what he's doing instead. You wanna come and dip your feet in? Okay. <laughs> Do you not want to? Come and see what you think of how warm it is. Oh, Lara's coming, I can see Lara coming down the stairs. Oh, no. Don't say that. <laughs> He's saying to the dogs, are you going to come in the pool? We don't want them coming in. Ugh. No, we don't. Oh, it's been so warm today. But I was just reading that um, it's going to be like 45 degrees out of something in Spain this week, which is crazy. Oh, he's coming. Yay. What? Don't, stand, don't stand in any poo. Did you stand on the um, leaves? The seats. Come on, would they jump? Don't you dare tell him to get in. <laughs> no, he's going to get in. I don't think that chlorine tablet is doing its thing. It's a slow... Oh, no. Would you? Yeah. <laughs> Stephen's telling Woody to get in. When you... Right, I'm getting in. Oh! Oh! Pff, he's whacked his tail in my face. Ow. Oh! Oh, it's quite nice. So there's um, if to your just in, right in front of you there, there's like a there, there's like a that's like a seat, so you could like get in it there. Uh oh, what is there? <laughs> what do you mean, I'm brave? It's not cold. Or oh, he's dropped his ball in. Don't be using that as an excuse. I think that's a gamey place. <laughs> no, not at all. It's lovely. You think it's cold, Lara? Yeah. Drop it in the drop it. Oh, I thought Louis was just gonna. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get in. Imagine if all four of them just, <laughs> just jumped in. <laughs> What's this on the bottom? Oh no, he's in. Get it, get him, go and get him in. Get the ball off him, quick. Get the he's, he's in the water. He's in the water to the right, to the right. Get it. Where? Grab it quick. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> How much oh, Louie's got it. Lucky they are. We're cleaning that pool. <laughs> no. Yay, Stephen's put swimming shorts on. He's coming in. You can't resist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, he's dropped his ball in. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Oh, what are you thinking, Peppa? Are you going to come in? What are you thinking? <laughs> Don't <laughs> get them in. Stephen, 
He's in. No, no, he's in. He's in. No. Get out. He's in. Get out. No, he's actually in. No. No. Woody. Oh, no. Woody. No. Wet job, Joe. No, you're not coming in the house. <laughs> it just collapsed. <laughs>